All right, so what we have here today are what I call Galilean slopes. This is actually based on an experiment that Galileo was doing when he was looking and coming up with his ideas of inertia. This is way before Newton's law of inertia. So what he did is he had a ball on slopes like this, and he would set it at the top of one slope, and notice the other one's a different angle, and he'd let it go, and he'd see that it rolled back almost to the same height. Not perfectly to the same height, but very close. If we started over here, same thing, where it gets very close to the same height, if not exactly to the same height. So what he was noticing was that it didn't seem to depend on where he released it. It would always return to almost the same height. The only thing he could find that would get it closer to perfect was smoothing out the track, where if he smoothed the track out, he would get closer and closer and closer to that original height on the other side of the ramps, causing him to come up with one of his ideas about friction and the presence of friction, thinking there must be something slowing this down. But as he did this, seeing that it always returns and keeps rolling until it reaches, if not the exact same height, the exact same height. It gets very close. He wondered if he could polish it out perfectly, if it would always go to the same height. But he was noticing that it didn't stop rolling until it got to that same height. And it led to him coming up with one of his ideas. He thought to himself, what would happen if I polished this out, I made it perfectly smooth so there was no friction, but instead of having it come back up, what if it just kept going straight? And he started to theorize about this principle that he called inertia, which led to him coming up with the idea that objects with mass, like this ball, have inertia a property that causes them to want to resist changes to their state of motion. And so he thought that if this went flat, it would just keep rolling until something, uh, an outside force, caused it to stop, which was the stepping stone that Newton used years later to formulate his theory of inertia, or his first law of motion, that an object that's in motion will stay in motion until acted upon by an outside force.